The Hockey NASM's air defense system represents a pivotal advancement in Australia's military capabilities, merging the versatile Hockey Protected Mobility Vehicle with the proven National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, the NASAMS, to create a mobile, short-range ground-based air defense platform. Developed under Project Land 19 Phase 7B, this enhanced NASAMS variant integrates Australian innovation with international technology to address modern airborne threats, such as drones, helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, and cruise missiles. The Hawkeye, a 7-ton 4x4 vehicle produced by Thales Australia, serves as the high-mobility launcher, leveraging its V-shaped hull for blast protection, a 200-kilowatt Stair diesel engine for a top speed of 115 kilometers per hour, and a range exceeding 600 kilometers. Paired with Kongsberg and Raytheon's NASAMS, it employs missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9X Sidewinder, supported by locally developed CEA Technologies radars, and Raytheon's AN-AAS-52 electro-optical infrared sensors. This system marks the Hawkeye's evolution from a troop transport to a weapons carrier, enhancing the Australian Defence Force's ability to protect manoeuvre elements in dynamic operational environments. The procurement of the Hockey NASAM system stems from the 2016 Defence White Paper, which identified the need to replace the ADF's aging RBS-70 man-portable air defense system with a more capable short-range ground-based air defense solution. Valued at 2.5 billion Australian dollars, Project Land 19 Phase 7B gained first pass approval in 2017 and second pass in 2019, with Raytheon Australia appointed as the prime contractor under a single supplier tender. Thales Australia supplies the Hawkeye vehicles from its Bendigo facility, producing 1,100 units under the broader Land 121 Phase 4 program, while CEA Technologies secured a $137 million contract for radar production. Kongsberg Defence Australia contributes fire distribution centres, assembled in Adelaide, with over $1 billion of the investment supporting local industry. This collaborative approach not only enhances sovereign capability, but also positions Australia as a contributor to global defense supply chains, with factory acceptance tests for initial FDCs completed by 2021 and production ongoing to meet operational timelines. Delivery of the Hawkeye NASAM system has progressed steadily, with the 16th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery, receiving its first components in May 2023 for trials near Jervis Bay. Initial operational capability was achieved between 2023 and 2024, equipping the 110th Battery as the first operational unit, while full operational capability is targeted for 2026, with two batteries fully fielded. The Hawkeye's production rate of 10 vehicles per week ensures a steady supply, with NASA AM-specific HMLs capable of firing up to six missiles each integrated post-production alongside canister launchers shipped from Norway. Training commenced in mid-2023, following the arrival of launchers and FDCs in late 2022, with live-fire exercises anticipated to solidify operational readiness. This phase delivery reflects a deliberate effort to balance rapid deployment with rigorous testing, ensuring the system meets ADF standards for networked air defense. The role of the Hockey NASAM system is to provide a mobile, short-range air defense umbrella for ADF ground forces, addressing a critical gap left by the RBS-70's limited range and manual operation. Deployed as HMLs on the Hockey's two-door variant, it offers rapid repositioning and survivability, complementing static canister launchers carried by HX-77 trucks for fixed-site defense. With a missile range of approximately 40 to 70 kilometers, using AMRAM ER, it targets low-flying threats, integrating with the ADF's battle management system to form the inner tier of an emerging integrated air and missile defense network under Project Air 6500. Its helicopter transportable design enhances flexibility, enabling deployment in dispersed or remote operations, while its networked architecture ensures interoperability with joint assets like the E7A Wedgetail and EA-18G Growler. This dual capability, supporting both maneuver forces and static assets, positions the system as a versatile tool for modern warfare. 
Deployment plans center on the 16th Air Land Regiment in Woodside, South Australia, with each battery comprising 12 to 14 launchers split between HMLs and canister systems. Troops within these batteries will operate three to four launchers, focusing on protecting combat brigades in dynamic scenarios, while canister launchers secure critical infrastructure like airfields or bases. The system's operational concept emphasizes mobility, with the hockey HMLs enabling rapid response to evolving threats, a capability honed through qualification training initiated in 2023. Geographically, deployment is likely prioritized for Northern Australia and Indo-Pacific operations, aligning with the 2023 Defense Strategic Review's focus on regional deterrence. This strategic orientation reflects Australia's need to counter air and missile threats in a contested region, with potential for coalition exercises given NASM's use by NATO allies. The implications of the hockey NASM system for Australia are multifaceted. Militarily, it significantly enhances force protection, offering a robust counter to drones, cruise missiles, and aircraft, while laying the groundwork for a layered IAMD alongside future systems like THAAD or Patriot. Strategically, it bolsters Australia's deterrence posture in the Indo-Pacific, where threats like China's DF-26 missile or regional UAVs loom large, and strengthens interoperability with AUKUS and Five Eyes partners. Economically, the program drives local industry growth, with substantial contracts for Thales, CEA, and Kongsberg Australia, fostering skills and export potential, evidenced by hockey trials in Canada, Japan, and Poland. However, challenges remain. The hockey's 4x4 design may falter in extreme terrain compared to tracked competitors, and its reliance on separate radars risks vulnerability if these are disrupted. Nonetheless, its mobility and networked integration offer a compelling edge. Compared to regional competitors, the hockey NASM system holds distinct advantages and limitations. China's HQ-17A, a tracked SRG biad with a 15 to 20 kilometers range, integrates radar and missiles on a single platform, offering resilience in rugged terrain, but lacking the hockey's helicopter transportability and missile range. India's Akash system, with a 25 to 30 kilometers range, provides cost-effective area defense but relies on static or semi-mobile launchers, reducing flexibility against dynamic threats. South Korea's K-30 Baiho Hybrid, a tracked system with guns and missiles, range 3 to 20 kilometers, excels in close-in defense but lacks the network sophistication and range of NASAMs. In contrast, the Hawkeye NASAMs combines mobility, a proven missile system, and integration potential, though its dependence on external sensors and lighter armor may limit it against heavily contested environments dominated by tracked platforms like Russia's Buck M2, which boasts a 50-kilometer range and onboard radar. Overall, the Hockey NASAM system is a strategic triumph for Australia, blending local innovation with global technology to deliver a flexible, mobile air defense capability. Its procurement and delivery underscore a commitment to sovereign industry and rapid operationalization, while its role in deployment plans enhance ADF agility in a volatile region. Though not without constraints, terrain limitations and radar dependency chief among them, it outperforms many regional peers in range, interoperability, and deployability. As part of Australia's broader IAMD vision, it signals a shift toward multi-domain deterrence, positioning the ADF to meet 21st century challenges with confidence as of March 2025.